Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a port scanner in Visual Basic 6.0. So I'm going to open up a standard EXE. You can just resize it and change the gaps and stuff. I am only going to show you actually the coding part. So for this one, I'm going to need a component. I whoa, whoa, whoa. um, I'm sorry. I need a component. Uh, so I'll navigate myself to the components thingy. You can do it by going to toolbar, right mouse button, and then add components. So in the controls, you scroll down until you can find Microsoft Windows Control 6.0. So apply and close it, drag it in. We are going to change the name. I like to call it SCK from SOC, and that's all it. I'm just going to show you the kind of um oh. Uh, well, the kind of um, how do I pronounce it? Um, I'm going to just going to show you kind of a way uh, how to get like open ports. Um, so it's actually pretty easy, and I'm just going to show you this. And you can add some uh, like text boxes for for um, own IPs and stuff. Um, so I added a list box for the all the open ports. I'm going to change the name to LB Ports. I'm also going to add a timer. I am going to set the interval to 10. Enable is equals to false. Very important. I'm going to change the name to counter. Oh. So now it looks like this. Um, I'm going to add a button. And it's going to be called btn underscore um, start the caption is going to be start scan um, so we can change the font I really like to do this because I don't like the standard font um, so right now everything is uh, great so I'm going to double click on the btn start so now I'm going to type in them IP as string and then IP equals input box. The prompt is going to be the text, and the text is going to be insert your IP or a IP, please. <coughs> please, sorry. Um, so the title is going to be IP. Um, now this is uh, pretty great because. Um, every computer has the same local IP and that is going to be 127.0.0.1 so if you are kind of trying to hack me right now with this IP uh, you should pro uh, probably get some kind of lesson in IP or something because this is also your IP um, but okay um, oh I forgot the separator um, the uh, bracket I mean so well the default is going to be this so it's going to be scanning my own um, uh, scanning my own um, my own uh, PC for open ports so right now I'm going to um, make sure uh, the as the SOC control has the same IP as the IP string as we can call it so they're going to be SCK remote host Oh well, it doesn't matter that much, but okay. So uh, remote host equals to IP. A uh, pretty easy actually. And now I'm going to start the counter. Dot enable equals true. Not that hard. So I'm going to insert the code for uh, the counter. And by the way, I forgot something. You really have to type an interval 100. Otherwise, you could uh, get some kind of strange things happening because some um, error uh, some ports cannot respond so quickly so counter, uh, the counter is going to be have so first we want to uh, well first we're in the uh, in the sub of the timer we first want to close the sock so sock sck to close because when it's connected and you're trying to connect again it will give a it will give an error and it will start crashing so now i'm going to add the remote port 
equals. Now it's very important. I've for, I've forgotten this actually. To be honest, with you. um. Well, let's make it a little bit bigger. Um. So let's yeah select them all. Um. Changing the font. Sorry. So label one is just only for the text. Um. So it's going to be uh, the caption is going to be. Uh, current port p o r t colon. So now I'm going to add another label. Well, let's change the font, and I'm going to change the caption to zero and the name to uh, l o l b l c p from current port. So now it's like that. Um. So now we can select everything again and make it nice fit and nice fit. So it's going to be this. Now uh, let's uh, let's go back to our code. It's saying right now SDK remote remote port equals to, and I'm going to type in current port current port. Yeah, you can do that caption. Oh, I mean LBL CP like that. You can do dot caption, but it's not neat. So. Um, well, uh, so now I'm going to try to connect. So I'm going to type in sck.connect. So it will connect to the port um, of the IP. So, um, well, now I'm going to enter the code of the sck. I'm going to the event connect. I'm going to delete the error event. Um, so it's actually pretty easy. So now on connect, it's going to be sck.close now lbl uh, lb I mean ports dot add item is going to be like um, this port is open and then those cur uh, brackets or something and then um, lbl cp dot caption and then and this one so it's not that hard um also i forgot something again but okay so after the sck that connect is going to be uh, executed just right behind it i'm going to type in lbl cp equals lbl cp plus value of one so you can also do this to be a value, so it's actually pretty easy. Um, well, let's check it out. So, I'm going to start the scan on my local IP, and it's going to scan C, and then when it connects, it's going to show you that it's open because the windsock is able to connect to it, and well, this is kind of wrong. I did something wrong because I know it's not. Um, the last one is 111. It showed 111, but it was actually. Um, it was actually uh, 110. Maybe we have to place that in front of it or something. Um, uh, let's uh, see if I can fix it. Like 25, yes. Now try, now try, now try. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's now showing you my open port. I can even show you um, my uh, a professional kind of port scanner. Advanced port scanner is called. Um, so you can see I can do that. Use range. I'm just going to scan. Um, well, let's do just one, two, seven, zero. Zero one scan. So, um, I'm going to go to open ports. Well, if, uh, well, let's wait. So stop. Open ports. C twenty five ten, and then those two. See, they are exactly the same. Um, so it's actually working, and as it should come up right now, there are there are not going to be uh, any op more open ports uh, because the advanced 
port scanner didn't show that up so yeah well that's actually pretty easy so thanks for watching this video hope you liked it please subscribe if you have some extra money I really like like you or something when you just donate something to me you can donate um, via PayPal um, it's just my normal uh, email address email address so g n b g a b n k at gmail dot com or just my youtube name at gmail dot com to be easier so yeah thanks for watching this video uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me again and i'll catch you later